Uh, yeah, no, I've um, first experience of it. Um, obviously, it went pretty well today with us two, um, and it was great batting with him out there. Uh, you just get to see the pure class and the timing firsthand, which is very nice to watch from the other end. And it also allows me to have full freedom of my game because you know the way he plays, he's in complete control, and it allows me to actually be really aggressive and take the aggressive option all the time. So hopefully, kind of our partnership can work really well together. Uh, Tom, taking forward that question, uh, obviously you played with Barber as well. So how was that experience and uh, how he gave you free hand? Because we saw uh, you uh, power hitting and you were playing all around the park. So how was that experience? And in the last, when uh, you guys needed just 16 runs to uh, defend, so how did you observe Barber's captaincy, especially at that time? Yeah, obviously batting it was great, we had the full license um, and we spoke about that as a team, kind of building partnerships, creating match winning partnerships and obviously today we were able to do that with me and Baba. Um, and then captaincy wise I felt we actually, besides the no balls, we stayed very calm out there um, and I think we managed it really well to actually leave enough in the last over to actually um, get us kind of well, to be able to defend it and win the game. Um, and then even the last ball, uh, we had a conversation out there about making sure we just stayed behind the line and didn't give them an extra because although it went for six, it didn't matter because obviously we won the game um, with them needing nine. So yeah, it was, it was great to play under him and I'm sure I'm gonna learn a hell of a lot over the next uh, five, six weeks. Tom, we have seen uh, uh, you guys working with Kamran Akmal as your batting consultant. So how good experience was it working with, with him and how much you have learned from him? Because last year he was playing with you and now he, uh, he was your batting consultant. How, how did you learn from him? Yeah, no, he's been great. Um, we, did, we did actually quite a lot of drills yesterday that was really fun and very different for me because in England it's quite s like growing up you're kind of quite traditional and over here, obviously, the culture is slightly different, so we were doing different drills with different balls, kind of a lot of underarm quick movements, feet go at like hit cover, hit long on, hit mid, like pull shots, everything. So um, working with him yesterday gave me a lot of confidence, and I've always enjoyed being around him um, over the last two seasons here as well, and he's great to have in the group. Hi, Tom. This is Mohammad Ali Buddin Sheikh from Ali Cricket World. Tom, you have recently played ILT20, and you are scored a hundred over there so tell me about uh, what is the comparison between the quality of bowling in other leagues and Pakistan because we have always seen and listened from different players you can just can you justify us what is the difference between in other leagues and Pakistan's bowling uh, so I found in Pakistan you just look around and everyone seems to bowl 90 mile an hour um, so for me that's kind of the biggest difference but I found over here as well, the pitches are very, very nice to bat on. So it kind of, with the extra pace, sometimes it can help. But the quality of fast bowling here is, I think, second to none in the world. And I think you even see that in international cricket. Uh, and every team seems to have those guys. So it's great for kind of me to challenge myself and to play against um, the seamers you have over here, especially. And yeah, it's the conditions, obviously, 400 runs in a night shows that it is a good batting pitch out here as well, which is nice for me as well. Uh, Tom, uh, you played against Mohammad Ahmed today, once a very uh, dangerous bowler. Now, how you found, uh, find him in today's match? I still think he's a very dangerous bowler. Um, I've played against him quite a lot now, and I can safely say he's bowled me the best delivery of my career. Two balls in a row. I thought he wasn't. It was a Red Bull game in England, and I felt. Bowled me this ball, swung in, nipped away, and I was like, oh, it's fine, Mr. Stumps. I'll never get a better ball than that in my career. Sure enough, I did. The next ball, swing in, nipped away, top of off stump. Um, but yeah, in, in today's game, obviously, he bowled some very, like, I squirted a couple away through third man. Um, I thought Mohamed Harris come out and played him so well. And the first over, I felt we actually threw the first punch, which for us as a team was massive tonight. It gave us the momentum um, and got us off to kind of actually, we are in a big fight here and it's gonna to be tough to beat us. And I think we showed that tonight. 
Um, but yeah, he's still a world-class bowler and he's got all the skills and all the experience you could want. Yeah, uh, this is Zubair from Express News, Karachi. Uh, definitely you did a great job. Congratulations for that. Uh, my question, I asked the uh, same question. I'm going to ask the same question I asked before I show you. Uh, both sides, they played very well, but uh, when we talk about the fielding, the standard of fielding was not good. So what do you have to say about that and what do you have the plan for future? Thank you. Yeah, obviously, um, people never drop catches on purpose. And it's one of those things, I think, start of a tournament, a little bit of nerves, a little bit of kind of pressure. Pressure does funny things in big games or at start of the tournaments as well. Everyone wants to start so well. So, yeah, I felt hopefully it's just one of those nights. Um, it's something that we do focus a lot on in training. So hopefully as the tournament goes on, we'll be improving and be able to put our rights wrong. And thankfully tonight it didn't cost us in the end. Uh, hi, Tom. Uh, two questions, one short, one long. Uh, obviously, uh, the due factor, I will ask about, uh, about you about the due factor impact. And second, sir, uh, we'll talk a lot about uh, the players, but Shahwaz Dalmi have Darren Sami, Mohammed Akram, and now Inzam Amulak as their president. So three giants, of course, Akram uh, from the first day. So how it, it helps the big names in the management? Uh, I can be seen in the uh, uh, Hanif Mohammed High Performance Center. You played three, four, I think, scenario games and prepared for this game. So how about that preparation when uh, you guys were practicing, especially in the sunshine, you, I think opted not to train uh, in the lights, but play in the afternoon to play some uh, longer shots. So how about that preparation? Thank you. Yeah, I think the preparation from the guys has been amazing. And like you say, all the legends we've got around our dressing room just fills you with confidence and it allows you to ask, like, when will I ever be in a changing room normally with those, like all those guys at once? Um, so for me, I'm extremely grateful for that and to be able to pick their brains. Um, I've like my first season here when Sammy was coach. He, the way he speaks about the game, the, it has just helped my career massively. Um, and it's the same for all of them. I've had little snippets from everyone, and it's just about for me trying to learn and be a sponge and take as much as I can in from everyone. Um, and then I think, yeah, they've got the preparation right. The lads are ready to go. Obviously, there are areas we can improve, but it's nice to be in a, on a winning side and going, there are areas we can improve. So hopefully throughout the tournament, we'll just get better and better. Last question, please. Tom, can you please talk us through your innings? I mean, 92, first game, how important it is for your confidence then? Can you talk us about the atmosphere? I mean, we could see full house, noisy crowd, excited crowd, and then what it means for Peshawar Zalmi to kick off their campaign with a narrow two-run victory, how does it help for the remaining games? Yeah, for me, mm. uh, starting my innings, obviously I've been playing quite a bit, so I've, I don't really, for me, my confidence, I get it from knowing what I've done in the past. Um, so knowing that when I do well, I win matches, and that's what I pride myself on, is actually being able to if I have a good day, I, like, I like to think that my team wins. Um, so that's what I try and do. And when I go out to bat, it's right, what do I need to do today to put us in a winning position? Um, and thankfully today, kind of, we did just get over the line. Um, but yeah, and uh, sorry, what was the rest of the question? Uh, yeah, and the, for me, play, being able to play in front of a full house like tonight was absolutely amazing to experience it. I, I knew it was going to be a great night when I walked out from the uh, changing rooms uh, to warm up and I think Babel was just walking onto the pitch and you just heard, it wasn't even full then, and you just heard the fans erupt. And I thought, yeah, it's going to be a great loud night and thankfully we were able to deliver a great game for them to watch. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I think any win, um, especially to start the tournament in the right direction, is great. And um, I think we'd have obviously liked to have won a little bit with a couple more runs to spare. But any win's a win. And I think it will give us confidence, especially knowing that we've got more in the tank to give um, um, in the next game. Thank you so much, everyone.